Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Take on his master's voice record, B9039, she had to go and lose it at the Asta. Somewhere Florence Desmond with orchestra. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl about to go out to her first part. As it was her first time out alone among gentlemen, her mother calls her into her room and says, Now, Minnie, you're dressed up in all of your finery and jewelry. You're going to run into a lot of temptations. So I want you to remember everything I've ever told you. And above all, I want you to be very, very careful. But she had to go and lose it at the after. She didn't take her mother's good advice. Now, there aren't so many girls today who have one. And she'd never let it go for any price. They searched the place from attic to the cellar. In every room, they even looked underneath each bed. Once they thought they saw it lying on a pillow. But they found it belonged to someone else instead. Thought she had to go and lose it at the Astor. She didn't know exactly whom to blame. And she couldn't say just how or when she lost it. She only knew she had it when she came. They questioned all the bellboys and the porter. Yes, but the chef appeared to be the guilty guy. And the doorman also acted quite suspicious. But all he coyly said was, I'm sure it wasn't odd. But she had to go and lose it at the after. And life, it nearly killed her mother and her dad. Now they felt as bad about the thing as she did. After all, it was the only one she had. They just about completed all their searching when the chauffeur came up with it in his hand. All they did was stare and gape. Would you believe it? There was Minnie's favorite cake. And she had to go and lose it at the eye. Oh, I wonder if we didn't catch her a few last words there. Never mind. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.